Hello friends, this is the next part of teacher profile module, and in this part we will see how teacher can edit his or her details. In previous part, we have already seen, how to fill teacher details under profile form, now we want edit teacher details, for this we have write PHP script. So we have go to profile.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post button action variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Now we have write dollar teacher image variable is equal to dollar post hidden teacher image variable, so this field value has been stored under this local variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar files teacher image with name variable value is not equal to blank, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. This condition will be true, if teacher has select profile image, so under this tag, we have write dollar file name variable is equal to dollar files teacher image with name variable. After this, we have write dollar temporary name variable is equal to dollar files teacher image with temporary name variable. So image temporary location details store under this variable. Now we have write dollar extension array variable is equal to explode function. Under this function in string delimiter we have write dot and in string we have write dollar file name variable. It will convert name in array. For get selected field extension. Here we have write dollar extension variable is equal to dollar extension array variable with one index, it will get selected file extension. After this, we have write dollar allowed extension variable is equal to array with file extension like jpg and png. So on this two image extension file are allowed for upload. For check file extension validation, here we have write if statement with not operator, with an array function, with two argument like dollar extension variable, and dollar allowed extension variable. If select file extension not found under allowed extension array, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher image variable is equal to invalid image format, and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose, selected file of allowed extension, then it will execute else block of code. Under this block we have write, dollar teacher image variable is equal to unique ID function with dollar extension variable. Here we have create new file name. Below this, we have write, dollar upload path variable is equal to admin folder slash teacher image folder name slash dollar teacher image variable here we have define image upload path for upload image here we have write move uploaded file function with two argument in first argument we have write dollar temporary name and in second argument we have write dollar upload path variable it will upload its selected file into define path. After validate image upload, now we have move for validate other form data, so here we have write if statement, 
and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher name variable. If teacher name variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher name variable is equal to, teacher name is required, and dollar error variable value increment by 1. But suppose teacher name field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar teacher name variable is equal to dollar post teacher name variable. After this for validate teacher address data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher address variable. If teacher address variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher address variable is equal to, teacher address is required, and dollar error variable value increment by 1. But suppose teacher address field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar teacher address variable is equal to dollar post teacher address variable. For validate teacher email ID data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher email ID variable. If teacher email ID variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher email ID variable is equal to, teacher email ID is required, and dollar error variable value increment by 1. But suppose teacher email ID field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write, not operator. With filter var function, under this we have write dollar post email id variable, and filter validate email, if email is not in correct format then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar error teacher email id variable is equal to invalid email format and dollar email variable value increment by 1. But suppose email has been in correct format, then it will execute else block of code. Here we have write dollar teacher email ID variable is equal to dollar post teacher email ID variable. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write not operator with empty function, and under this we have write teacher password variable, if teacher want to change password, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar teacher password variable is equal to dollar post teacher password variable. After this, for validate teacher grade ID data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher grade ID variable. If teacher grade ID variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher grade ID variable is equal to, grade is required, and dollar error variable value increment by 1. 
but suppose teacher grade ID field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar teacher grade ID variable is equal to dollar post teacher grade ID variable. Now we want to validate teacher qualification data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher qualification variable. If teacher qualification variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher qualification variable is equal to qualification is required and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose teacher qualification has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar qualification variable is equal to dollar post teacher qualification variable. Lastly we want to validate teacher date of join data, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar post teacher date of join variable. If teacher date of join variable has blank value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar error teacher date of join variable is equal to, date of join field is required, and dollar error variable value increment by one. But suppose teacher date of join field has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar teacher date of join variable is equal to dollar post teacher date of join variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar error variable value is equal to zero, if this condition true, that means no validation error has been occur. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar teacher password variable value is not equal to blank, this condition will be true, if teacher want to change password details. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array, with first key double colon teacher name, with value get from dollar teacher name variable. In second key, we have write double colon teacher address, with value get from dollar teacher address variable. In third key, we have write double colon teacher email ID, with value get from dollar teacher email ID variable. In fourth key, we have write double colon teacher password, with value get from password hash function, with dollar teacher password variable, it will convert string password into hash formatted password. In fifth key, we have write double colon teacher qualification, with value get from dollar teacher qualification variable. In sixth key, we have write, double colon teacher date of join, with value get from dollar teacher date of join variable. In seventh key, we have write, double colon teacher image, with value get from dollar teacher image variable. In eighth key, we have write, double colon teacher grade ID, with value get from dollar teacher grade ID variable. And in last key we have write, double colon teacher ID, with value get from dollar post teacher ID variable, so this way we have store form data with password change request data store under this array. Below this, 
we have write dollar query variable is equal to update query this query will update all teacher data with password also but suppose dollar teacher password has blank value then it will execute else block of code and here we have paste above dollar data variable value and from this array we have removed double colon teacher password key below this we have again write dollar query variable is equal to update query now this update query will update all form data except password field data. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, with dollar data variable, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar success variable is equal to success message like profile details change successfully so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page after refresh of page here we can see teacher details under this profile form now we want to change address details so we have change address details and click on save button after click on save button on web page we can see success message on web page now we want to change profile image so here we have select profile image from computer and click on save button after click on save button we can see success message on web page and here we can see image has been also change lastly we want to change password so here in password field we have enter new password after enter of new password we have click on save button after click on save button we can see success message on web page now we have log out from system and try to log in with new updated password. So here we can see login form. So here we have enter email ID with old password like password and click on login button. So here we can see invalid password error on web page. Now we have again enter new updated password like password 123 and click on login button. After click on login button, here we can access attendance system. So, in this part we have covered teacher profile module. Now in next part we will start student attendance management module. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.